Arthur by Amanda Graham and Donna Guinell. Arthur was a very ordinary dog. He lived in Mrs. Humber's pet shop with many other animals, but Arthur was the only dog. All the other dogs had been sold because dogs were very popular. All the dogs except Arthur. He was just an ordinary brown dog who dearly wanted a home with a pair of old slippers to chew. On Monday morning, Mrs. Humber put some rabbits in the window. By the end of the day, the window was empty, except for Arthur. Nobody wanted an ordinary brown dog. Everybody wanted rabbits. So that night, when all was quiet, Arthur practised being a rabbit. He practised eating carrots and poking out his front teeth and making his ears stand up straight. He practised very hard until he was sure he could be a rabbit. Next morning, Mrs Humber put some snakes in the window. By the end of the day, the window was empty, except for Arthur. Nobody wanted an ordinary brown dog not even one who acted like a rabbit. Everybody wanted snakes. So that night, when all was quiet, Arthur practised being a snake. He practised hissing and slithering and sliding and looking cool. He practised very hard until he was sure he could be a snake. Next morning, Mrs Humber put some fish in the window. By the end of the day, the window was empty, except for Arthur. Nobody wanted an ordinary brown dog, not even one who acted like a rabbit and a snake. Everybody wanted fish. So that night, when all was quiet, Arthur practised being a fish. He practised swimming and blowing bubbles and breathing underwater. He practised very hard until he was sure he could be a fish. Next morning, Mrs Humber put some cats in the window. By the end of the day, the window was empty, except for Arthur. Nobody wanted an ordinary brown dog, not even one who acted like a rabbit and a snake and a fish. Everybody wanted cats. Arthur felt he would never find a home with a pair of old slippers to chew. Next morning, Mrs Humber put the rest of her pets in the window. There were two hamsters, a cage of mice, three canaries, a blue budgerigar, a green frog, one sleepy lizard and Arthur. Arthur jumped on lily pads, squeaked and nibbled cheese, purred, croaked and even attempted to fly. By the end of the day, the window was empty, except for Arthur. He had collapsed, exhausted, in the corner of the window. Now he was certain he would never find a home, whether he was a rabbit, a snake, a fish, a cat, or a purple spotty three-headed wombat. Arthur decided that he might as well just be an ordinary brown dog. Late that afternoon, just before Mrs Humber was to close the shop, a man came in with his granddaughter. Excuse me, said the man, Melanie tells me that you have a rather extraordinary dog who performs all sorts of tricks. The only dog I have, replied Mrs Humber, is Arthur. There he is, Grandpa, in the window, said Melanie. She rushed to pick up Arthur, who gave her the biggest, wettest, doggiest lick ever. Arthur knew he had found a home. With a pair of old slippers to chew. If you enjoyed this book, we have lots more books that we would love now to share one. with you. Please hit subscribe. Now it's one, Mommy. Now it's one.